Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. Wanted to jump on and share some beautiful projects that I created this weekend. And it was using the old Maggie Holmes collection Gather, which is one of my all-time favorite collections. And I decided to do a few things a bit different. Um, some of the things I've made before and some of these things I haven't made ever so or I haven't made them quite like this I should say so um, firstly I had a whole heap of uh, like the gather journal cards from project life and I wanted to use up my project life cards because we sort of just have them sitting around in our stash. They don't get used that often. So um, I thought about creating a gorgeous project using these journal cards. So I'll show you the first project. I'll just move those ones out of the way. So I ended up getting a gather 12 by 12 piece of paper and just cutting um, along the top of the 12 by 12 paper to the size I was wanting. So it was about the same size as the Project Life journal cards. I just left a little extra bit of space um, on the top so you could have a little uh, sneak peek or, you know, the um, patterned paper in the background just slightly showing. And then I um, grabbed four journal cards for each side and stuck them down with double-sided tape. And then I scored down the middle to create these really interesting little inspiration booklets. And I thought it turned out so pretty. It's extremely sturdy um, because I've used cardstock plus two layers of of the journal cards. It's turned out really, really um, thick and sturdy. So it's really nice. Um, so anyway, it's um, inspirational. So we've got this piece here it says create beautiful memories and then you flip it open and then we've got what a lovely day little moments always and i just love the gather collection it's so gorgeous like all the little um gold glitter details all the pink all the black all the white it's just so pretty all the music notes it's just gorgeous so i pretty much tried to use up a heap of the journal cards as well as uh, the chipboard and the thickers so I thought I'd make that the front cover there with a cute little unicorn. And then we've just got one of those cute pink uh, pegs on the side there. And then on the other side, we have things to remember, smile. We have From the Heart. Which I kept quite simple, but still really pretty. I didn't want to make this too chunky because then the recipient just wouldn't be able to um, shut it and it'd just be too fat. We've got this gorgeous swan on here. It says Happy Place. And then we have, I treasure the moments, the little things, life is lovely. And I thought, yeah, this was just a pretty little um, inspirational booklet for my pen pal. And I think it's really cute. Something a bit different that I haven't sort of made before. 
so very happy with how that one turned out and yeah I hope my pen pal enjoys it as much as I had fun creating it so after I created this one I thought it'd be really fun to create a really little like mini itty bitty one so I pretty much used um so out of the is it the six by six gather paper pad it has these um strips of little cut aparts here in the um in the paper pad so I just cut out along the um the strip and then I just stuck them back to back and created a little mini one and just folded it so it's not as um perfect as this one but um like it's a little bit wonky but that is because it's so tiny and um it sort of didn't give me um that like that extra layer of paper where i could sort of score in the middle but either way, so cute. I thought it was fun just to create a little itty bitty mini one using those um, strips of cut aparts. Today was magic. Got a ballerina. Again, we got create beautiful memories. We have celebrate the simple things. There's a cute little deer. We have the swan. And then we have a pretty little bird, be a light. I thought these turned out super cute. Just something fun to create and just give to your pen pals. So then I decided to make um, a cute little pillow box to go with all these um, pieces while I had the collection out. And I just love the colours in how this one turned out. So I used a little pillow box die from In Love Arts. And I used that really fun um, rainbow sort of patterned paper. And then I stuck this beautiful rosette on top. And I thought the colours were just stunning. And I really like the pink with the blue. And then I decided to create like a little uh, file folder. And this is how it turned out. Just move these aside. And I thought this turned out so pretty. Again, I love all the blue with the pink and that bit of mint green. I thought it turned out stunning. We've got some pretty um, pom-pom trim there, which was gifted to me from a pen pal in Japan. And I found it in my stash when I was cleaning out and, um, yeah, cleaning my craft room. And I thought, oh, I really want to use that. So, yeah, then I thought I'd play with the Gather Collection when I saw this um, trim as well. And I thought it all went perfect together. So that's the inside. So we have inside some pretty little butterfly embellishments, which you um, can prop up the wings. Using the gather um, paper pad, we have some of the beautiful uh, journal cards to gift to my pen pal. And I just added a really pretty uh, sort of sequin mix to match with it. 
And I just thought the colours are just beautiful. And then we have an embellishment which I made, which is also really, really pretty. I used that gorgeous pink piano. <laughs> And the recipient can just use this embellishment for whatever they like, really, if they want to decorate packages with it or stick it on something that they've created themselves. I just thought it was so pretty. And again, we've got a beautiful um, sequin mix in there as well. And then that's the inside of um, the file folder. So I just popped in some uh, pieces of paper to keep the, um, the things separated, like how a file folder would have. And I used a Velcro, um, Velcro dot to enclose it. And let's see where that goes. So we've got that in there. Add the journal cards in there and the butterfly embellishments in the front there so I had a lot of fun uh, creating these things I thought they turned out so pretty and just the colors are really different to what I usually play with as well that's one of the things I loved about it I love the blue with the, that pinchy Pinchy, <laughs> peachy pink color. I think it's so pretty. So gorgeous. So yeah, there's my projects for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, Thanks for all your love, your support, and your beautiful comments. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye.